What's up, Quadcopter fans? It's HiringADrone.com, and today I'm going to be doing a final review on a new drone that I recently purchased, which is the Ionic uh, CX023 uh, Mini Quadcopter. So when I originally purchased this, I did read some reviews online, and uh, you know, some people were stating some issues as far as motors going out, accelerometers not working, uh, you know, trouble with pitch issues, cheaply built. Um, I thought this was going to be a little bit bigger than what it was. Uh, this is, you know, the same size as the Cheerston CX-10, which is this is basically just a, a knockoff of it. Um, there are some things that I don't like about it. It feels cheaply made compared to the Cheerston uh, Charger, you know, pieces on the outside here, um, which seems like it's a recipe for disaster if that thing gets ripped off. You know, cheap propellers on there, cheap uh, propeller guards on there. The controller makes no audible noises uh, when trying to bind it or you know adjust the trim or anything like that or speed. And so I did one quick indoor flight when I first received it. Seemed like it was handling pretty well. I didn't understand uh, what everyone was complaining about online. Um, so today I took it out to try to do a comparison flight against my Cheerston CX-10. Uh, since they are basically the same exact drones. The Cheerston uh, flight went awful too as well. The wind seemed to mess up the accelerometers and uh, ended up having to repair that today. Um, repaired the Cheerston, was able to fly that, tried to take this out again in the same conditions, you know, zero wind, um, and this would not bind to the controller for some reason. So I uh, went through the instruction manual trying to figure out what the issue is, why it wouldn't bind, uh, and basically, it's not very helpful. It just says, you know, don't turn this on while it's plugged in, which I didn't do. Um, so it's a little bit frustrating. I'll turn it on just to kind of show you what, what's happening here. And so when I turn it on, the orientation is, is the greens in the back, the blues in the front. This has been charging for about six hours. Um, you know, and as you can see, the lights aren't really responsive on it. Um, I go to turn on the transmitter again it doesn't send any audible noises to the quadcopter to let you know anything's being bound so i push up down try to bind it nothing um, try to reset it nothing um, so the controller just will not bind to the quadcopter every once in a while it'll make a noise like uh, you know the it's trying to spin the propellers but nothing happens so i'm very very disappointed um, you know, didn't even really get to fly this. And, uh, you know, basically the reviews were right online. You know, I'm kind of kicking myself in the ass now for, you know, purchasing this because uh, everyone clearly stated it out there to stay away from it. It did have good reviews on the website that I purchased it from. So that was a little bizarre. But, you know, if you're thinking about the getting the, uh, you know, Ionic CX023, uh, I would think twice. You know, uh, this one cost roughly around $22, $23 here in the U.S. Um, you know, you could get a Cheerston CX-10, which is basically the same exact thing, built better um, for about $16. I was hoping that, you know, maybe everyone else just got bad ones, but looks like I got a dud too as well. So I do think that there are some quality control issues with this because, you know, this is a little ridiculous that... You don't even really get to fly at one time. So, um, you know, that's my final thoughts on the Ionix CX-023. If this video helped you out in any way, uh, you know, definitely leave a like. 